Ever get that dreaded no service notification on your phone? The struggle is very real when it comes to bad cellular service. Luckily, there are solutions available in the form of signal boosters, but are they worth the money? Today, we're taking a look at the Echo Signal Booster from WeBoost and a case that claims to do the same. These signal boosters come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, but they're definitely not all created equal. Take Reach Case, for example. This particular case claims that it can provide up to a 3x boost in signal, but that wasn't really my experience. First off, the case has an integrated antenna that slides out to enhance the signal, which isn't only ugly, but based on test, doesn't even actually work to increase signal or speeds. While this is in the form of a portable case that snaps onto your iPhone, it's not really worth the money coming in at 60 bucks. On the other end of the spectrum, WeBoost makes a signal booster called Echo, which claims up to 32x better cellular coverage indoors. It works with multiple devices, unlike a single case, but it is quite a bit more expensive. It's a pretty simple setup process though. There are two main parts to this. You have the booster and the antenna, both of which work together in boosting the signal indoors. One downside is that it's definitely not portable. It plugs into the wall and you need to place the booster in an area where the signal is the strongest. From there, the antenna ties it all together and boosts the signal throughout your home or business. Like I said, the cool thing here is that Echo works with any phone, any carrier, and customer covers up to 1,500 square feet indoors, but does it really work? The short answer is yes, but ultimately it's going to depend on your location and your current signal. It is a signal booster, which means that it needs some kind of signal to boost, but yes, it does work, and I was getting double the speeds and signal when comparing the results side by side. It's pretty impressive to be able to increase cellular performance by that much, but even with successful results like these, are you willing to dish out the money for something like the WeBoost? Echo. It's priced at $349, but in comparison to the $60 you'll spend on a single reach case that will only work with an iPhone on specific carriers, it seems like a dedicated signal booster is the better way to go. Plus, it actually works. But do you think signal boosters are worth it? Let me know what you think with a comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up as it does help out the channel a lot, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.